So now the next question is, what difference do we see? Very interesting question. What difference do we see in the reaction? Reaction of adults and the reaction of children during the difficult times. जब कठिन समय आया तो बड़े लोगों में और छोटों के रिएक्शन में प्रतिक्रिया में क्या अंतर आया अलग अलग प्रतिक्रिया थी कैसी थी तो यू हैव टू राइट ए ब्यूटिफुल आंसर इन दिस बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन फैक्ट इज द जस्ट समरी ऑफ इज नॉट द समरी इज द जस्ट ऑफ कोर ऑफ हार्ट ऑफ दिस स्टोरी क्योंकि इसमें मानव स्थिति के बारे में बताया है कैसे आदमी रिएक्ट करता है एडल्ट मतलब बड़े लोग कितने बड़े लोग थे जहाज में हजबेंड वाइफ नैरेटर और उसकी वाइफ मैरी और उसके बाद लैरी और हर ईस्ट चार लोग एडल्ट थे और दो लोग बच्चे थे देखते हैं जरा क्या होता व्हाट कुड बी द आंसर तो यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड दे रिएक्ट टू द सिचुएशंस टू द डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन इन वन लाइन इफ यू आर आस्ट टू आंसर द आंसर इज बोथ ऑफ देम रिएक्टेड सम वॉट डिफरेंटली द एडल्ट स्टार्टेड मेकिंग प्रिपरेशन फॉर ओवरकमिंग द डेंजर दैट्स राइट that was their duty that was the part expected so the adult started making preparations to overcome the danger in order to make sure that impending danger is not serious the captain took two crew men captain ka reaction kya tha wahan jo khatre ko dekh ke khatre ki sambhavna ko dekh ke the captain brought two crew men along right next reaction when they caught the gale and high waves jab bahut tez hawaye aur high wave aane laga to kya hua they slowed down the ship the speed of the ship when they were badly injured particularly narrator he hung on the wheel and so did mary wo apni wheel pe kaam karte raha और उसके बाद फिर नीचे देन ही वेंट डाउन टू गेट द स्क्रू नेल्स एंड ऑल्सो हैमर एंड कैनवस इन अदर वर्ड दे डिंट लूज देयर करेज अपनी बहादुरी उन्होंने नहीं खोई थी नेक्स्ट इज द क्रू मैन द क्रू मैन वे आर वेरी चेयरफुल वेरी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक दे केप पंपिंग वाटर ऑल द टाइम कंटिन्यूसली नॉन स्टॉप and mary also when required she was on the wheel handling it smartly captain in this period in during this stage spent his time in calculations he spent his time in repairs he spent his time in connecting spare pumps during that stage of death he went down to cheer up his children though of course he had gone expecting children will be greatly cheered but jonathan said some sentence and that shocked him because he heard half the sentence he only heard initially are we going to die but jonathan did not stop here will come to the so this is the reaction of the adults they kept on working they kept on working hard hoping against hope they kept on pumping repairing steering wheel mast handling looking up to the children without being bothered about their own injuries calculations and what not what about the children how did they react to it children were also not married like the adults children were also not worried the 7 year old susanne had big bump here 
she had hurt herself badly on the head eyes had become black her hand was also injured there was a deep cut cut but she didn't inform about the deep cut why because she didn't want his father to pay attention to her she wanted that father be busy making effort to save lives of all as he was doing so she behaved like a very mature girl she knew that they were doing everything to protect them and so she didn't do anything she did not inform about the injury seriousness of the injury next what she did she spent time in drawing caricature cartoon why and then wrote some beautiful lines why in order to make his parents and people laugh in order to bring a smile on their faces in order to relieve them from the tension tanav se rokne ke liye tanav se unko halka karne ke liye the daughter behaved maturely bahut paripakva badon ki tarah adult ki tarah usne vyavhar kiya aur aise samay mein during this hour of crisis she decided to make caricature when it was a question of life and death when she saw everyone struggling for saving the ship when she saw herself being injured badly she decided to draw cartoon and what about son and the idea was to make them laugh to smile what about son 6 year old boy jonathan told his father that we are not afraid to die usne pita ji se pucha ki are we going to die aur bina unke jawab ke pratiksha kiye khud bolta hai we are not going to die kitna utsah kitni positivity aur kitna dhairya is chote se bachche ne bataya he showed tremendous sense of uh, maturity this time he was also not like adult i mean not like a baby children's courage and patience here they are examples of superb quality of children it's a beautiful example of their courage of their patience during this adverse time their activities boosted up the morale of these adults their activities boosted up the morale boost karna matlab upar uthana morale mane utsah unka utsah utsah vardhan ka kaam kiya unhone jo bhi kiya caricature banaya kuch haath ke bare mein nahi bataya hasane ki koshish ki fir uske baad kaha ki hum log sab saath rahenge to hum marne wale nahi hain ye kya hai these are all examples of children playing also playing the role of adults and doing things that can boost the morale of these adults the next question how does the story tell that optimism helps in reducing the stress direct stress how does ऑप्टिमिज्म हेल्प आशावादी विचार कैसे तनाव को हटाने में तनाव के बादल को दूर करने में मदद करते हैं इस कहानी से बताना है आपको हाउ डज ऑप्टिमिज्म हेल्प इन दिस बिफोर दी वेव स्टॉम स्ट्रक वे वॉकर द एनॉर्मस सीज came to them the captain who was hopeful of a ship sailing to the sea shore slowed down the ship why did he do that because he was optimistic usko vishwas tha ki hamara jahaz pahunch jayega so he dropped the storm jib so that the waves don't attack the ship further 
and very strongly and damaged the ship. It was optimism again that made him fasten tightly the mooring rope. ये आशा की ही किरण तो थी उसके मन में जिसके कारण उसने क्या किया रोप से बांधा टाइट रोप से मोरिंग से उसने उसको बांधा द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल टू प्रूव दैट ऑप्टिमिज्म वर्क इन देयर माइंड वॉज द वेरियस स्टेप दे टुक वॉट डिड दे डू दे फास्ट एंड टाइटली हैवी मोरिंग दे डिड द लाइफ raft drill they also attached lifeline and wore oil skin and oil, um, uh, what that jacket life jacket taki jo khatra samne aayega so that they can face the danger that come so these steps show that they were optimistic that is why they were doing all this ye so meet se hi to ye sab kar rahe the again next point to prove that they had they were optimistic is they saw water everywhere but captain kept on repairing the ship he realized that we can sink if we don't do that we would surely sink if i don't bring canvas and correct this patch where a lot of holes had come he also made sure that cupboards which are holding the planks are not damaged any more and that's why he brought nails hammer and set them right put them back to its position so that these cupboards can hold those planks properly because captain hoped to find that one day वन ऑफ द टू आईलैंड आई गेट उसको उम्मीद थी कि एक दिन ये जो दो आईलैंड मैंने देखा है कैलकुलेशन करके उसमें एक आईलैंड तो मिल जाएगा इसी उम्मीद से इसी आशा से वो लोग ये सब कर रहे थे तो दिस शोज देअर ऑप्टिमिज्म देर हाईली ऑप्टिमिस्टिक और साथ में ऑप्टिमिज्म के ही कारण तो दे सक्सीडेड इन राइडिंग ओवर द क्राइसिस ऑफ वाटर they successfully threw out most of the water from inside the ship by pumping they pumped out most of the water leaving very small few centimeter of water in the ship but that was not uh, uh, risky that was not to damage another ray of optimism was even the little sue was very optimistic another example she was optimistic and that's why she was drawing this caricature she did not tell her father about the injury she do the caricature to made him laugh to made the people laugh that is again an example of optimism in them harry or uh, uh, harbi both of them were also constantly pumping out and they were doing it very cheerfully the narrator says that i saw them doing it very cheerfully very happily khush mizaj dikh rahe the thakan chehre pe nahi dikh rahi thi that also proves that they were optimistic and there after what happens sun saying we are not going to die sun saying we are not going to die it's a very height of optimism i would say that was the best example of ऑप्टिमिज्म जहां लड़का कहता है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डाई एंड दैट बूस्ट इज मोराल मोराल ऑफ नैरेटर लास्ट इज द सन एंड द डॉटर दे वर कॉन्स्टिंग प्रॉबेबली लुकिंग एट द थ्रू द विंडो ऑफ द शिप that an island could be seen and they saw the they felt that that is an island and they ran towards his father hugged him that is the climax of optimism under the most terrible conditions under the most adverse conditions all the people including mary who was holding the wheel they 
showed perfect example of optimism. And in fact, this is probably the message of the story that even in the darkest hour, even in the darkest hours, we should not lose hope. We should be optimistic. Optimism helps us in tiding over many crises. Optimism is the hallmark of a person who moves forward. And so we all must be optimistic. That is probably is one of the messages of this story that you must know. Now here comes the next question. इसके पहले जो प्रश्न हुआ था उसमें हमने एक लेसन सीखा एक ये सीखा कि ये कहानी हमको क्या सिखाती है उन चीजों में से एक बात हमने सीखी आशावादी होना सिखाती है इन द प्रीवियस लेसन वी लर्न दैट द स्टोरी मेक्स अस बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक इट टीचेज अस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ऑप्टिमिज्म वन शुड बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक जीवन में निराश नहीं होना चाहिए ये इस कहानी में हमने सीखा एक शिक्षा नाउ देर आर फ्यू मोर लेसन फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी दैट यू कैन लर्न लेसन माने शिक्षा और लेसन माने पाठ तो होता ही है तो यहाँ पे लेसन का अर्थ है शिक्षा सो वॉट लेसन डू वी लर्न फ्रॉम सच स्टोरीज such experiences when we are face to face with death what lessons do we learn from such uh, horrendous hazardous stories or experiences when we are face to face with death hazardous matlab jahan pe bhayankar anubhav ho खतरे हजार्ड यानि खतरा हजार्डस मतलब खतरों से भरा हुआ तो ऐसी कहानी से हम क्या शिक्षा सीखते हैं फर्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टीम एफर्ट टीम एफर्ट इज द की टू सक्सेस टुडे इंडिया हैज वन ब्रॉन्ज मेडल इन हॉकी इन ओलंपिक्स एट टोक्यो and when the captain was asked what is the reason what is the secret of his success so he said team effort jab usse pucha gaya ki safalta ka raj kya hai to usne kaha pure dal ka prayas and by team he does not mean 11 players who are playing on the field by team he means other people also who cheered him those extra players who were sitting on the fence the team doctors the team physio the team manager coach etc the pawns that all makes a team people of different level make a combined team so one story one lesson that we learn from this story is the team effort and here the team consisted of very experienced businessmen a lady his wife two crew who were brought from outside and two young children 5 6 year old 6 7 year old children that is the team so team work is very important it is this team effort that make them fight this uh, a storm and this odd situation very successfully everyone during this time was keeping his morale high was helping each other some way or the other what they could do children were not able to handle the ship but they were able to cheer up the morale of the parents of the crew yes or no so they boosted the morale in the face of death next lesson when he was losing consciousness 
suddenly he bumps into the onto the sh uh, deck of the ship he means the narrator against all hopes he finds himself back on the deck thanks to the ocean current that threw him into this that was optimism when he was face to face with death so one has to have, number one reason is team spirit second thing that we learn second first lesson that we learn is team spirit and its beauty the second thing that we learn second lesson that we learn is optimism which has already been described described well in the previous question the third thing that we learn is proper planning you see they were working both narrator and wife were training themselves for the last many years for this voyage not that suddenly they decided and one fine morning they got up and started off the voyage no they spent all their leisure time you must have read they spent all their leisure time in training themselves in learning in learning calculations testing the ship testing themselves in the british waters feeling that cold wave feeling the hit of the wave in the ocean in the uh, british uh, ocean british uh, waters so what it means is third lesson is planning helps we must plan by failing to plan we are planning to fail remember this quote for your life this is one very positive lesson that we get out of this story by failing to plan we are planning to fail so we must not fail to plan we must plan otherwise we will fail so this is the third lesson that this story gives that we must have plan well laid out plan and the best thing is we must have a b c plan if a plan does not work we should have a choice b plan or c plan if b does not work we can go to the c so we must have multiple plan and but we must plan fourth lesson that this story gives us chauthi shiksha jo humko ek kahani deti hai wo ye hai ki chahe chote ho chahe bade सब काम के हों जहाँ काम आवे सुई कहा करे तरवारी है ना हिंदी में जहाँ सुई का काम होना है वहाँ तलवार क्या करेगी यदि हमको शर्ट का बटन लगाना है तो उसके छेद में तो सुई ही जाएगी तलवार जो हजारों सुई के बराबर है अपनी धार में अपनी ताकत में तलवार से बटन नहीं लगा सकते so similarly another lesson that it gives is don't underestimate anyone kisi ko bhi kam mat aanko everyone has some or the other ability har ek mein kuch na kuch khamta hoti hai respect that ability am i right the next lesson that i am talking about is do not underestimate to underestimate matlab kam aankna don't underestimate the strength the ability the skill the potential of anyone whether it is a big man or a small one whether it is a rich man or a poor man ek bahut prasidh kissa hai कि भारत के एक बहुत बड़े राजा जिनका नाम मैं अभी याद नहीं आ रहा है वो इंग्लैंड गए तो जिस कपड़ों में गए वहाँ पर कार देखना था उनको बहुत प्रसिद्ध बड़ी कार जो बहुत बेशकीमती कार थी वो कार उनको देखना था और वो खरीदना चाह रहे थे तो अपने सामान्य ड्रेस में वो गए अंग्रेजों ने उन्हें देख के मना कर दिया ये आज से करीब 
सौ साल पुरानी बात है अंग्रेजों ने देख के उन्हें अंदर आने से ही एक तरीके से मना कर दिया उनको लगा कि ये क्या खरीदेगा ये ऐसे ही आ गया घूमते घूमते उनको बाहर कर दिया यू नो वट हैपन बाहर आए उसके बाद दोबारा गए और उन्होंने वहाँ जितनी कारें खड़ी थी शोरूम में जितनी कारें खड़ी थी वो सब खरीद ली और रॉयल्स रॉयस कार थी दुनिया की सबसे महंगी कार थी उस जमाने में जिसमें केवल अंग्रेज सबसे अमीर लोग बैठते थे वो कारें उन्होंने बहुत सारी खरीदी और उसका उपयोग किस लिए किया कचरा उठवाने के लिए ये अंग्रेजों को तमाचा मारने के लिए उन्होंने ऐसा किया इस इस बात से शिक्षा मिलती है कि किसी को कपड़े से मत आंको किसी को उम्र से मत आंको किसी को उसके शरीर से मत आंको डोंट अंडर एटमेट एनी बडीज स्ट्रेंथ बाय ड्रेस बाय लुक बाय हिज कन्वर्सेशन यू नेवर नो हाउ यूजफुल ही और शी माइट बी टू यू right the next lesson that we learn out of this is we must develop our skills hame apna kaushal hamesha develop karte rehna chahiye we must develop our skills these skills come very useful during the times of needs zarurat ke samay ye bahut kaam ke hote hain ye skill that narrator had learned lot of skills he had nothing to do with screw and hammer but he learned that skill khila marna ek kala hai how to nail that is an art everybody cannot do it how to sweep the floor that is an art jhadu lagana bhi ek kala hai it is an art aisa thodi ki kaise bhi jhadu lagta hai so we must develop our skill children good at caricature she used this time to make a caricature because she had good skill at drawing cartoon so you we must develop our skills the mary the lady he she developed a skill in handling steering and some odd work in ship she did it beautifully so skill development must go on if you want to grow kuch na kuch seekho padhai ke alawa किसी न किसी कला में पारंगत हासिल करो डेवलप योर स्किल इन एनी थिंग एवरी थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट एक हॉबी हो देर फोर सच हजार्डस एक्सपीरियंसेस टीच अस टू बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक एंड एन अदर लेसन दैट वी लर्न इज इट टीचेज अस करेज इट टीचेज अस पेशेंस धैर्य बहादुरी हमें सिखाती हैं देखिए कहानी सवाल क्या है हजार्डस एक्सपीरियंस से खतरनाक अनुभवों से क्या सीखते हो तो खतरनाक अनुभवों से यदि पार पाए तो वो किस बल पे साहस के बल पे बहादुरी के बल पे एक सामने टाइगर आ गया उससे पार पाए तो बहादुरी के बल पे समझ के बल पे ब्रेन दिमाग सो दिस हजार्ड एक्सपीरियंस ऑल्सो टीचे दस करेज पेशेंस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ आवर एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड ऑल्सो एप्लीकेशन ऑफ आवर एक्सपीरियंसिस सो आई थिंक दीज आर द बेसिक लेसन दैट वी लर्न आउट ऑफ दिस ब्यूटिफुल नेल बाइटिंग स्टोरी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई डू यू थिंक पीपल अंडरटेक सच हिजार्डस डेंजरस रिस्की एक्टिविटीज और जर्नीज दैट पुट देयर लाइफ टू रिस्क वाई डू पीपल अंडरटेक अंडरटेक मतलब लेना वाई डू पीपल अंडरटेक सच रिस्की जर्नीज वाई डू पीपल अंडरटेक सच रिस्की जर्नी और वाई डू पीपल अंडरटेक सच रिस्क दैट पुट देयर लाइफ इन टू रिस्क लोग ऐसा कारनामा क्यों करते हैं जिससे उनके जान को खतरा हो जोखिम के विपरीत क्यों करते हैं द आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल ए लाइफ फुल ऑफ एडवेंचर 
has been exciting people to take journeys. Life full of adventures has been exciting people. Excite karna matlab utsahit karna, prerit karna. Since ages, hajaron saal se hum dekh rahe hain ki jo bhi pragati hui hai, uske piche adventure raha hai. Adventure matlab sahasik yatra. Ya sahasik, koi bhi cheez sahasik rahi hai. Sahas kiya hai, to usse paranam nikla hai, tab usse hum seekhe hain. So, adventure is a part of man's life. Adventure is a part of man's habit. A life full of adventure has always been exciting people for dangerous journeys. People have always been crazy to do new things. Columbus. Bharat ki ke liye nikla tha aur pahunch gaya America. Paranam kya hua? America ki khoj hui. Aaj wahi America vish mein apna varchas par hai. Yadi Columbus wahan nahi jagaya hota, ya wo risk nahi liya hota, wo khatra nahi liya hota yatra karne ka, to shayad hume America baad mein aur baad mein malum hota. Vasco de Gama, Neil Armstrong, jo chandrama mein gaya, ऐसे बहुत से एवरेस्ट माउंट एवरेस्ट पे चढ़ने का खतरा माउंट एवरेस्ट पे चढ़ने वाले व्यक्ति को वहां मकान नहीं बनाना है वहां पर उसको प्रॉपर्टी नहीं बनाना है लेकिन एडवेंचर का मजा अलग है देयर इज ग्रेट फन इन एडवेंचर एंड सो पीपल हैव बीन रिस्किंग देयर लाइफ दे हैव ऑलवेज बीन क्रेजी टू डू न्यू थिंग्स टू ट्राई न्यू थिंग्स टू डिस्कवर न्यू थिंग्स and for that they prepare aisa nahi hai ki everest pe chadhna hai to ek din achanak ichha hui aur hum nepal chale gaye kathmandu aur wahan se humne pahad chadhna shuru kar diya no in order to climb adventure uh, mount everest you have to do year long exercise kafi lambe varsh samay tak aapko sharirik roop se apne ko taiyar karna hoga mansik roop se taiyar karna hoga in our chhattisgarh itself there is a young boy he has climbed seven top mountains of the world seven peaks of the world he is a young boy about 22 23 year old how could he do that passion so people undertake risky journey they do risky things they do risky experiments because they enjoy it but they do it with lot of planning they do it in advance they sharpen their adaptness apne apne ko dhalte hain aur sharpen karte hain apne ko dhalte hain uske anusar yadi sea journey karna hai to apne sharir ko apne manasik sthiti ko usko uske tarah dhalte hain practice karte hain yadi pahad pe chadhna hai to practice karte hain then they prepare themselves for the approaching death aur tab ja ke wo taiyar hote hain ki kal ko kuch hoga to main uske liye taiyar hu moreover they are not afraid to die ye bahut badi baat hai ki a life full of adventure has always attracted men people by men i mean men and women it has attracted people and when they are attracted towards adventure they are also prepared to die so they are not afraid to die here in this story captain had an example james cook he thought when james cook could do it 200 years ago we can do it now things have improved better communication has come better understanding has come better calculations can be done better quality of ships have been made so he said fine if he could do it why not now now these voyages sharpen their sea faring skill aur usne kya kiya usne practice ki 16 saal tak sea faring skill jahaz mein jana jahaz mein tairna doobna jahaz chalana isko 16 saal tak usne perfect kiya aur 
he was prepared for the worst he was prepared for storms he was prepared for sea um, uh, sea winds he was prepared for everything and he was so crazy passion why people undertake such risky journey passion lagan passion tha all their free time for the last 16 years they were spending in working out this journey either testing themselves training themselves dreaming about it and what not when the worst came they didn't leave hope the sabse buri sthiti bhi aayi thi tab bhi unko ummeed thi narrator had held the hand of his wife but he still had hope that something better might happen and you know they undertake this journey such risky journey because if successful it gives tremendous satisfaction if successful such journeys give tremendous satisfaction and certainly there are more examples of success than examples of failure and secondly failure brings few lessons yadi kahin asafal hue to kuch shiksha milti hai aage improve kariye so this story tells us why people undertake risky journeys and the question that is there why people undertake such risky journey or do such risky things in life the answers are number 1 man loves adventure second he does extensive planning and in the process he is prepared for death we are not afraid they are not afraid to die next thing they love this because they enjoy it they love it because they have it is their passion they love it because they get crazy about it ek deewana pan aata hai pagal pan alag cheez hai ek deewana pan passion next reason why people undertake such they hope that they will be successful they are always optimistic people that's why they do it i am not undertaking this risky journey knowing that i am going to die i am undertaking this risky journey because i know that all my efforts and training will make me come out of this and so next reason why i undertake journey is for the feeling of satisfaction for the feeling of satisfaction santushti ke liye and last reason to do something new either new routes something new new things discovery or invention of new things discovery of new places discovery of new routes discovery of something unknown that was hidden and so some people are crazy about doing something new kuch naya karna hai successful people never walk on the trodden road successful people never walk on the trodden road safal vyakti log chale hue marg pe nahi chalte they always walk on untrodden path ve hamesha marg banate hain what a beautiful way to passion risk naye karne ki ichha satisfaction साहस ये सब इनको रिस्क लेने के लिए लालायित करता है प्रेरित करता है राइट सो आई रिपीट दैट लास्ट लाइन दैट सक्सेसफुल पीपल डोंट वॉक ऑन द ट्रॉडन वे दे प्रेफर टू वॉक ऑन अन ट्रॉडन पाथ अनोन लैंड अनचार्टर्ड रूट्स राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट आंसर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन